about to begin and we can expect a high voltage drama here at the Panchayat ground in Navelim. Day one quarter finals. Here we go. It's that man again, the left handed bowler, Amir Salgauka. Starts off with a slower delivery. Rajat Kudalkar and Anukul, the two opening batsmen out there at the middle. We've displayed a wonderful run chase in the pre quarter match. Anukul was outstanding in the first game. He smashed 40 runs of just 10 deliveries. No appeal this time from the bowler. I guess he dropped the ball before taking off the bails. And Anukul was really struggling to get there. A steady start here. Well, these two batsmen will have to be extremely watchful while playing against this man. The two times man of the match, Amir Salgaukar Bumsi. He's a variation specialist. And dropped. Oh, chance of a run out here. The catch has gone down. But still they managed to get a wicket and it's a big one. Anukul has to depart, the skipper of that side. There was absolutely no run there. The ball went straight into the hands of the fiddler at square leg position. He dropped the catch. But despite that, the ball did not go any further. All he had to do was just take the ball and throw it back to the bowler and this time there was no survival as Anukul has to walk back and Rape Shivji Perfect start. And with the departure of Anukul, in comes his brother. Appeal, appeal. But Bola was not interested. Vedant, the wicketkeeper batsman, the big man from Kanka, has arrived at the crease. The question is, can he deliver big today? It's a big match here. The winner goes through to the semi-finals of the tournament. Another Yorker. Perfect Yorker. And another dot ball here. And all the players of through Parsam, look at them. They're all charged up. Embracing each other. Rajat played a fine knock. In the last game, he was a man of the match in the pre-quarter. Up in the air and straight to the fielder. One bounce to that mid-on fielder. And a fine over comes to an end here. Just two runs and a wicket in form of run out for Dhruv Parsem. And what a player this man is turning out to be. Bumsi. One of the finest all-rounders. In the Kova tennis.
He has driven home an electric bike at MGP Chashak Mandrem this year. Oh, look at that. Look at that attitude from Vedant. On the back foot punch. And he doesn't even run for it. Right, I'm over the stumps. Thank you, DJ. Oh, he's running hard. He's running really hard. Ram Nagveka having a shy at the stumps. And Vedant survives. That's the last thing they would have wanted here. Sri Bhumika Kanka. A run out. A boundary of the first ball. And a single. He rotates the strike. Good smart thing here. From the batsman Vedant. The big man needs to deliver big today. Again a wonderful looking shot. This time Rajat. Finds a boundary over the cover region. Easy pickings here for the batsman. Now that's straight up in the air, Ram Nagvikar settling around and he completes the catch. Second blow here for... Both the openers back in the hut for Sri Bhumika Kanka. And two new batsmen out there at the middle. Tanish Auti, the left-handed batsman, comes out to the middle. They need a partnership here. No run there. Absolutely no run there. Vedant is not running the die though. And another... And a wicket as well. A big wicket of Rajat. Oh, too quick. Too quick. Batsman completely deceived by the pace this time. And a fantastic over comes to an end here from uh, the right-handed bowler, Lakshman Naik. Score moves on to 11 runs for the loss of two wickets. DJ.
Chandrakant is a new bowler. Starts off with a Yorker delivery. No chance there for Vedant. The wicketkeeper batsman of that side, Sri Pumika Karnka. Sri Pumika Karnka also missing out on their very crucial player, Shubham Cha, who's injured. Or else we would have got to see him in the playing 11. The fielder stopped the ball, but it took him a while to throw the ball back. Sagar Moroskar, the fielder. Just a single there, Chandrakant. Score moves on to 13 runs. He has gone big. And it is big enough. And it's the first six here of the inning so far now. Coming out of Vedan's bat. In runs, Vedant will have to deliver. It's a crucial encounter. Knockout stage. That's up in the air. No timing, no timing. Two fielders. Oh, that falls safely. Falling in the no man's land as Vedant survives. Score moves on to 20 runs now. Third over is in progress here. Now, Valim Panchayat crowned, hosting this mega event. She was Chhatrapati Chashak, addition to. And this is the last match of the day one, the quarter final encounter between Thru Parsem and Sri Pumika Kanka. A slight fumble there from the wicket keeper will allow them to steal a single. In form of buys as signaled by the umpire. And score moves on to 21 runs. 21 after 3 overs. So steady start. Despite losing 2 wickets. Just 21 runs on the scoreboard. Vedant. The big man needs to deliver. This is the platform. This is the big stage. Where he needs to deliver. For his side. Sahil has been handed over the ball. Quite surprised not to see Amir Salgaukar back. Ram Nagvikar, 
the captain of that side through Parsem. Tanish Aute. A short ball and no timing at all. Vedan back on strike. A boundary and a six already for Vedant. Changes in field being made. The left hand, right hand combination troubling the captain, the bowler. Oh, again, this time over the fine leg boundary for a four. This is good batting. This is good quality batting here from the big man from Kanka. With a Just a single there for Vedant. Manages to bring some bat onto that delivery. Score moves on to 33 runs. Last ball of the fourth over. Sahil. Again, an attempted Yorker. Sahil. Get a very good delivery to finish his over. Score moves on to 34 runs after four. 13 runs coming off that Sahil's over. And these two batters, they're building a partnership. Just last two overs to be played now. So it's time for them to shift gears. And gain some momentum. Try and score a few boundaries. Take the score close to 60 runs. And he will face a left-handed batsman this time. The previous occasion, he bowled to right-handed batters. Okay, a man to watch out for, Amir Salgauka, man of the tournament. He drove home an electric bike at the MGP Chashak 2022. Mandrem. 
and he has certainly created an impact in this tournament as well two times man of the match short ball and a simple catch down the throat that is poor cricket absolutely poor shot that from the batsman well that should have been put away for a massive six it was a loose delivery you don't get such deliveries very often from someone like amir salgaukar Vedant has got Oh excellent once again top class bowling this from Amir Salgaukar He has considered just two runs so far in the nine balls that he has bowled Another yokel and delivery, a slight fumble there, and it goes to the third umpire. Third umpire will be in play. So Vaman Maeka. Score is 34 runs and they've lost another wicket here in form of run out. Sabegay, red out of here.
Appeal, appeal, denied. So just seven runs coming off the tour. Another very, very fine over here from Amir Salgauka. Would have been just one run over. But that six from Siddhesh Urfa Pau has made it seven. And score moves on to 41 runs after five overs. Siddhesh has smashed. A few sixes just a few days ago in uh, Kumbharzua, the Philomena team. Satesh smashed a few sixes there at the Muli Chashak, two or maybe three sixes. Can he produce a few more here for his side? His side is an absolute need. The desperate. Sagar starts off with a short delivery. And Siddhesh will only get a single. Vedant back on strike. They need some big striking here. Big shout, big shout. Denied. It's a leg by Empire Sir Babu Dabholkar. Highly professional. Now the leg by Sagar Moraskar. Doing a fine job. Edge and straight to the fielder. Rupesh Shivji at fine leg position. Doing the rest. So just three runs off the first three deliveries. This is turning out to be another very good over. Has to be wide, and yes, it is a wide. Down the leg this time from Sagar Moraskar. They need sixes. They need a couple of big hits. And a perfect Yorker won't allow them. Perfect Yorker once again from this bowler, Sagar Moraskar. The score moves on to just 46 runs. Vedan is playing on 25 runs of just 11 deliveries. An edge. In fact, it's off the legs. Another leg by. So just five runs so far of the final over. This is turning out to be a very fine over from Sagar. He has given away just three runs. Two leg buys. And it's a dot ball to finish. Four runs, one wide. And the final score of... Shri Bhumika Kanka is 47 runs. 47, so 48 will be the target for Dhruv Parsem to enter the semi finals of the tournament. Second time. This sends a great opportunity here, Dhruv Parsem.
as the run chase begins the final innings of the day one of shiva chhatrapati chashak organized by shumaratha sports and cultural club and what a start here ram nagwekar starts off with a bang a big full toss on the legs and he has hammered that one with the wind for a massive six smart very smart here from the two batsmen and slightly cramped looked like amir salgaoka he seemed slightly both the batsmen slightly limping a quick call and the other one responded very quickly ram nagwekar and that might run away as well absolutely no chance another fielder starts limping absolutely no chance there for him to stop that one i guess the 12th man will have to be ready so boundary here for amir salgaoka he gets off the mark as well has been in the finest of forms this morning Again, another very good shot, and no chance there for that fielder. He gets tested once again. The same fielder. And no chance for him to stop that one. for amir salgaoka looks like they are in a hurry to finish this game good comeback very good comeback what was that throw i really couldn't understand what was that throw he just fired in at the bowler lucky for the bowler anukul i hope he's all right I wouldn't have dared to even show up my fingers onto that throw. Throw coming out of frustration from that fielder, Ram Nagwekar. He's a very matured cricketer, absolutely top-class cricket. Shows great temperament and great character while batting. He knows his responsibility. He plays quite responsibly. Both these batters are experienced contenders.
Prajod bowling the second over, 16 runs without loss, the score. Prajod starts off with a wide delivery, an extra run being added to the score of Dhruv Parsam. Score moves on to 17 runs, chasing 48. Need another 31 runs. That's up in the air. And a great catch. A wonderful catch. And it's a massive blow here. As the man in form, Amir Salgauka, has to walk back. Bublu walks out to the middle. Plays inside out. And might run away for a boundary. Good job done there by the fielder. Mahesh Pawar. Had to run a lot of distance. Chasing down that ball. Keeps it down to two. Score moves out to 19 runs. I beg your pardon, 20 runs. Up in the air and in the gap. Piercing the cover and point fielder. Will be another two runs to the batsman. Score moves on to 22 runs. Pablo. Again, he played well in the last game as well. Scored 23 Not a single there. Again, very smart cricket here from Ram Nagwekar. He's dealing in singles at the moment. He knows the situation very well. Just 48 runs to get in six overs. And he's playing according to the situation. Big swing. He misses that one. And a dot ball to finish the over. Two gone. 24 for one. Drew Parsim. Still a very good start for them. 24 runs of 12 deliveries. And they've lost a wicket. An important wicket of... Amir Salgauka has scored 
95 runs in three games, in three innings that he has played. The highest run getter so far in this tournament. Still plenty of action to be witnessed for next three days, four days. Here at the Navvel in Panchayat ground. What a beautiful ground this is. Surrounded by the saffron colored flags. Giving a tribute to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. What a legendary leader he was. Dhanesh Aute is the bowler, bowling the third over. Starts off with a taut delivery to Ram Nagwekar. Ram is taking his own time, building his innings. Well, that is really weird to see the cover fielder going back. Another 24 runs to get of 23 deliveries through Parsham well in this. It's a wide ball from Thanesh, which makes the equation 23 of 23 now. It will be a single. Is not looking to do anything silly. Through Parsem would want the skipper to stay there and finish the game. Score moves on to 26 runs. Now the 22 runs to get of 22 deliveries. And he has cleaned him up. An unnecessary shot coming out of Bablu's bat. And it's a wicket here. Is there a twist in the tail? And the skipper has asked Sahil to wait as Ajay has been asked to come out to bat by the skipper Ram Nagveka. And he strikes here and the new batsman Ajay out there at the middle. Smart, very smart, played along the carpet. And they will settle for a single. Score moves on to 27 runs. 21 needed of 20 deliveries now. Came on here. Shri Bhumika Kanka. Oh, unfortunate. It's been called as wide. Again, two wides have been bowled by Dhanesh in this over. Ram Nagvikar knows the equation very well. 
That's up in the air and will only be one. Mahesh Pawar keeps it down to a single. Score moves on to 19 runs with that single. 29, I beg your pardon. Oh, unfortunate. Very unfortunate here. In fact, it's a boundary. Crucial runs. Prajot will continue bowling. And it's a wide ball. Ram Nagvikar almost chased it down. Score moves on 34 runs. Another 14 needed now of 18 deliveries. They're coming closer. Dhruv Parsem. They're coming very closer now. Knocking the tour of semi-finals. Oh, that has to be a couple. Delicately played. And really very smart cricket here. Very intelligent cricket from Ram Nagvekar. The youngsters really should watch. Have a look at his innings. All the youngsters watching this game on YouTube. All the spectators. Should really take an example of how to finish a game, how to build your innings. And he doesn't miss out on loose deliveries. Anything over pitched will be dispatched for a massive six. What a fine player to watch out for, Ram Nagveka, the captain of the side. Normally, we hear commentators saying about him, Chota packet, bada thamaka. That's the package that he brings in, Ram Nagvikar. And uh, he got carried away. He got carried away with excitement. You never see him do that. He's a very honest player, Ram Nagvekar. Didn't even wait for umpire's decision. Started walking back. You don't see that very often from him. He's a highly matured player. An experienced player. Having realized that he has taken his side right on the tour of the semi-finals. He got carried away. And was experimenting with that switch hit. The new man in.
gets off the mark with that single. Sahila Rolkar, what a knock he played last year in the quarterfinals for Dhruv Parsem. He won the match for Dhruv Parsem from the jaws of defeat. That was against Ganpati Warriors, Uzgao. Off the pads this time, but no appeal from Prajot. Score was out of 44 runs, so just four away now. Just one hit away from entering the semi finals of the tournament. Dhruv Parsem. Sahil. Can he finish it off in style? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He does it. And that's it here. Dhruv Parsem it is. The first semi finalist of the tournament. They've entered the semi-finals with a comprehensive win over Sri Bhumika Kanka. Sri Bhumika Kanka played well in their first two matches, but their betting wasn't good enough in the quarter-finals. And in the end, it's an easy win here for Dhruv Parsem as they go through to the semi-finals of the tournament.